So today I'm going to focus on one underlying concept, why we see data cleaning as a probabilistic inference problem or a, a probabilistic cleaning problem. So we'd like to think about the data as, as such. There is a generative process that generates clean data, and there is a noisy channel uh, that kind of introduces errors to this data, and then you observe the work of that noisy channel. So this is an example of a table in which I have a schema and a bunch of rules, and then the generative process I will generate a clean instance I. That clean instance is going to go through a bunch of kind of uh, pollution work, devilish work, and then you're going to see JSTAR, that polluted version of this I. If you think about this problem this way, and you convince yourself that if I model this I and R, this uh, data generation process and, mo and noise generation process, by parameterizing, for example, these two models, and then trying to estimate these parameters, you can do a lot of cool stuff. For example, you can repair by looking at the most probable instance that maximize the observation that you currently see, or trying to figure out the probability that your pollution model touch a specific cell, and that's error detection for you, and everything in between. So it's pretty cool stuff. The way we built this in order to scale, we built it on top of a bunch of um, uh, really nice modern ML concepts. I'm going to highlight a bunch of those for you today. The first one is what we call contextual representation of the, um, uh, of, the, of the target attribute. And this is an attention mechanism that allows us to focus on the right or the most important representation of the target attribute given the rest of the row, for example, and other signals. Once we build that uh, representation, we start to augment it with a little bit more explicit features. For example, uh, violations of integrity constraint, domain knowledge, and what have you. And then we have this unified representation in which we can then push to the upper layers for inference and doing a variety of tasks. For example, regression or classification or even just error detection. We also do uh, a lot of self-supervision and sometimes weak supervision. And we, the task can be very different from uh, uh, continuous variables, for example, of the target attributes or categorical. So we use regression for that and classification for that. And, but using the same contextual kind of representation of the, of, of, of the data. 